Turn it off. Hi, I'd, uh, I'd like to thank the person that emailed me and asked me this question. I've had it asked in the past, but never really thought about making a video about it. Uh, and that question is, okay, so I have a statue, and, and of course I'm not giving names or anything like that. But I have a statue, and like say it was from China or something. And it doesn't have those little charms at the bottom. The, you know, the charms at the bottom that, that uh, most of the statues have out of Mexico, they're usually like little plastic things and, and little what looks like bird seeds. Um, they'll have like an elephant with the trunk up, they'll have a horseshoe, they'll have the Cruz of Caravaca, which is a four-armed cross, they'll have glitter, you know, they'll have um, sometimes sunflower seeds, they'll have all kinds of little charms. And uh, from my understanding, those charms at the bottom are like any other charm and they're used as a symbolic um, a, a symbolic petition in a way a symbolic um, <laughs> addition to the statue which tries to which tries to basically amplify what it is that you're you're petitioning her for most times those, those little charms were symbols of wealth and health and luck and love and spiritual connection and all kinds of cool stuff. So it, it only makes sense that they would add those to the bottom of the statue. Like, okay, um, this is what I want her to bring into my life. Okay, so with that being said, you also see statues and figurines that that miss some of those components and then are replaced with others or there's nothing at the bottom of the statue and there's items that are super glued onto the statue itself like you'll see ones with mirrors ones with little rolled up dollar bills some with roses some with sequins you know some with uh, little uh, you know like other little charms you know um, but mainly really, really recognizable occult symbols and really recognizable uh, little doodads, I don't know what the right word, little additions to the statue that are obvious, like, you know, like I said, money, love, wealth, luck, you know, stuff like that. So you can usually tell by looking at the statue what the person is wanting to bring. So. Anyway, so it's like, this question was, okay, if it doesn't have those, does it make, is that bad, or does it make it any less potent, or is, is it wrong for your statue not to have those things? And my opinion is, is that the statue is supposed to be a representation of your connection with her, obviously, right? Just like any other statue for any other entity or spirit or deity or whatever. Okay, so it's it's our kind of focal point, you know, it's it's our way to hone in on communicating and working with her and building that connection. It's how we focus. It's it's one of the ways in which we focus. It's sympathetic, okay? So it doesn't matter if you have a statue that's six feet tall and made out of gold. Or it doesn't matter if you have a statue that's two inches tall and made out of resin or bone or wood or plastic. You know, in my opinion, it doesn't matter because part two is that it's also in the spiritual community supposed to be a vessel in which she can inhabit, her essence can inhabit and better her connection with you. You know, it's... I mean, the statue itself is is no guarantee that like Santa Muerte herself is going to just live in your house, and you know she, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like a little bitty bit of her is is capable of you know kind of settling into it and and, and um, kind of taking a little vacay, sit down and and sitting and talking with you for a little bit. I mean, that's the best way I can describe it. That's why I say a bit of her essence. So, um, at the end of the day, I mean, if that statue to you, in, in my opinion, 
Now, don't bite my head off because there are people out there that are like, no, it's my way or the highway. You know, but if there are, if there is a connection already there, truth of the matter is, guys, you don't need any statue, you don't need any candle, you don't need any tool, you don't need any altar, you don't need any pendant, you don't need any nothing. If there's already a connection there, you already have an, a connection. But with with our nature and how we need uh, certain things to focus a lot of times, it doesn't really matter, in my opinion, what the statue has encased within it or, or has glued onto it or has underneath it. Um, if the connection's there, the connection's there. That's, that's my opinion. Yes, there are ways that they do it in Mexico in which are traditional and there are some people out there that are like, hey, don't stray from the formula because we know this works. And that's fine, you know? By all means, do what you'd like and do what you gotta do. Do what grandma taught you. Cool. Um, but for those people that uh, have a fondness for her and have developed a connection with her that didn't have grandma teaching them how to do this and live, you know, in, in Australia or in Africa or you know or in Ireland or somewhere else I'm not gonna sit here and say no you can't do that you know because that's not your heritage I'm sorry I'm not one of those people I have a very universal mindset okay and even if, and, and another thing is if somebody wants to do something they're gonna do it regardless and this this ties into another video which is I'm just gonna tap on it real quick you know, in my opinion, it doesn't matter your, your, your nationality, it doesn't matter your race, it doesn't matter your orientation, and it doesn't matter your status. If you want a connection with a spirit, and more importantly, if that spirit wants a connection with you, then they're going to have it, whether it's from a different culture or not. So, I'm sorry I had to yell, because it's, the people get so gung-ho about, this is from my culture, blah, 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 blah. whatever all the while it's from your culture yet you know you're hispanic and you've got a buddha statue sitting right behind you you know and then you got <laughs> and then you got a, a freaking an african statue on the other side of the room so do not lecture me about how it's not from my culture you can't if it's from my culture you can't do it do not lecture me anyway so <laughs> people are looking at me like i'm crazy because i'm recording in the car all right remember? yeah <laughs> so Anyway, um, tangent over. But yeah, I think that, uh, I think it's perfectly okay if that statue is quote unquote not loaded or uh, fixed or however you want to, however you want to word it. You know what? Get that statue and cater it to how you want to cater it. You know, if you want that statue uh, to be representative of all of the things in life that you, that you would like to improve on or that you need, then, oh, my phone's about to die, then by all means do it load it that way okay so I gotta go because my phone's about to stop recording but and right in time right uh, but yeah do it how you want to do it but I do also encourage you to learn how they do it in Mexico just you know because the more you know so that's about it I'll see you guys next time